Greetings, everybody. It is I, Andrew, the bearded lady from Hairy Game Lords. And for Zatu Games, we're going to take a look what's inside this. That's right, Imperial Settlers Roll and Write from Portal Games. Let's check out what's inside this box as we unbox together. Yes. It's Imperial Settlers Roll and Write. Fantastic stuff. Some great artwork there from Portal Games. Let's rip off the cellophane. What I like about the box straight up is it uh, shows you what's in there. And uh, the... <laughs> uh, and then all the kind of like the dice and stuff like that. Nice... Nice. Right, how many people is this for? It is for one to four, so you can play it on your own if you've got no mates. And uh, for th it takes about 30 minutes. Good times. Right. Let's have a look. Ooh. Instantly I can see there's something... Ah, there's like a little dice tray, it feels like, inside the box. So let's, let's not rush ahead of ourselves. Let's, there we go. Right, fantastic stuff. Excellente, nice little simple rule book to read and look through. Not many pages, but it looks like everything I require for learning the game right there. Good times. Ah, comes with an empty baggie. That's nice of them. Uh, here are the little dice. They look kind of wooden. Let's have a little cheeky goosey gander at these. Yes, they are. I can confirm that these are wooden dice with the uh, resources on there. Fantastic. And then a little kind of meeple dice thing going on there. Let's just see. Oh, they feel nice to rattle and roll in the hand. Great. What else have we got? Okay, so we have one of the kind of scoring pads. So by the looks of things. Oh, hello. What's this here? Let's have a little look at this. Well, look at that. There's a whole a whole host of different uh, things in here that you can um, buy or roll and write for. Fantastic. So these are all of the, the different uh, resources and things that you can build. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's your straight. That's your straightforward one right there. And this, there's some additional things. Oh, and look at this, even more. So this is the uh, the roll and write pad that everybody has. Oh, that's really interesting that there's not just one pad in this game, but there are three in total. Excellent stuff. Uh, and some interesting things laid out on here, I'm sure, will become all, all so much clearer when I've checked out the dim rules. Right, here we go. Little things to punch here. Oh, that's nice. Little, I like the artwork on this. Um, I like the kind of like graph paper as well. Excellente. Great stuff. So nice kind of like thickness on there. Doesn't need to be heavily, heavily thick at all. And uh, so those those little things there as well. And you've got some pencils. Nicely rounded, round pencils. Uh, none of this Ikea stuff. Oh no. That's nicely rounded pencils uh, for there. And then you've got like a little, uh, a little dice tray there. That's nice, isn't it? Excellente. Alternatively, you could use one of these dice trays. Just... Uh, Oh, hello. Yes. The Zatu dice tray. You could always use that. Oh, actually, it sounds so much nicer in the Zatu dice tray than it does the box provided. You can get involved with the old Zatu dice tray. Obviously, at Zatu Games. Sort it out. Excellent. Hey, nice stuff. So that is effectively all that is in the uh, Imperial Settlers roll. 
and right.